Hi, I'm Lou, another episode of My Car Story. We're here at the Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals in Rosemont, Illinois. And I'm here with Bill Norrod. Norrod, thank you. Jody, thank you. Thank you. And I'll grab the cameras I usually do. And uh, come on with me, Bill. What do we have here today? This is my 72 GTO that I special ordered back in February of 1972. Took delivery in March 6th of 72. Owned it all the time. It's a survivor car. It's all factory paint, all original interior. It's the only thing been repainted is the right passenger door, and uh, it's all original drivetrain. It's uh, and you're the original owner. Yep, what it new. And there's a picture of you back in '72 washing the car in my driveway. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. All right, let's take a look at the overall side of the car while we've got a chance to do that. Right. Give me just a second. And the 72, we're just approaching the uh, gas shortage. All right. And, uh, uh, we're coming into emissions and things like that, so they had this little vent on the side. There was no badging really on the GTO other than the back quarter. Right. Even the interior didn't have anything. I added an emblem on the dash just because it didn't say GTO anywhere inside the car. Really? Okay, so let me ask you a question as well. So tell us, you were originally a Ford guy. How how this happened? I just got interested in GTOs. I actually had a brand new 67 GTO that I also purchased brand new from the same dealer, Cole Pontiac in Oakwan, Illinois. Let's take a look at that right here. Okay. And, Go ahead. Uh, that first GTO I had to sell when I went in the Army in 68. I got out of the Army, bought a couple of used GTOs, and then in 70, early 72, I started shopping around and special ordered this one. So, and it just got everything you need. It, well, if I had a time capsule, it would have this air. This is it. It would have a 455 Ram air and air conditioning. Okay. <laughs> because we drive this car everywhere. We don't trailer it. So in the summertime, when you take it to a Nationals yeah. in, in Kentucky or something like that, you pretty well get sweltered in the heat. And uh, it's it's all here. I mean, uh, yeah. it's how, how many how many miles do you have? Uh, Seventy-two thousand, thirty-five thousand of that, thirty-seven thousand now was done taking driving it to car shows after it was retired. Really? All right, let's come on over. Let's uh, have you open the door for me. There. Purchased it there. And uh, let me get this the tag on the door as well. Looks oh. great. I added the oil sticker because I worked at the dealer for a while in '67, so I had some, so I put that on for a little detail. Nice. And we've got uh, standard vinyl door, nice buckets. Do the GTOs all come with four speeds or automatics as well? well? Actually, this one is going to surprise you. This is a three-speed. Oh, Monty really? Three-speed. That was which was actually this is a base car. It's a standard 400 with a three-speed transmission and a 355 Posi rally gauges. And you're almost up to the GTO emblem that I added. Nice. Because that was just a dead spot because it was a non-air car. So I put that, that's actually off a door panel of a 66 or 67 GTO. And no, nothing saying GTO in it. No, no, well, the way it was, yeah. it's in 72, if you just ordered the car, you got a bench seat and you got GTO emblems on the door. Yeah. But when you upgraded the buckets, you got the pull straps over here. Yeah. And the emblem would have been here, so they didn't, they deleted the emblem. When you got the, the pull straps. straps. You're right. Okay, so the 72s do have it if they don't have pull straps. No, no, if, yeah, if they have a bench seat. Yeah, they have a bench seat. Okay, so, so let's open uh, under the hood. There's a lot of room there. Yeah, a lot of room. So that's all original parts. Uh, the master cylinder has been replaced with an NOS one from its failure and then the starter's been, but all the components on top, including the carburetor, that's all from the factory. Wow. And it's won Concourse Best Original in uh, 2007, 2013 with GTOA. Brilliant. And briefly, tell us, this car actually was stolen. Yes, it was. And you found it. Yeah. So stay right here. I'm going to f feature you. <laughs> okay. So how did you find your car? Well, I was working what, in... What year was it stolen? This, it was, uh, 6th of July, 1972, when the car was only three months old. Uh, <laughs> I went to... I worked for the phone company in Chicago, and I went out on my route. I came back at lunchtime, and yeah. 
the parking spot was empty where my car was supposed to be. So we called the police and they came out and made a report. And uh, they, uh, I, since I knew where they dropped stolen cars in Chicago, I went looking around and checked spots. I couldn't find it. Then I talked to a Chicago cop that I knew and he gave me some more sites where that I didn't know about. And on a Saturday, Saturday after it was stolen, I went driving around and I found it parked on the street just sitting there like anything. So you stole your own car back? Well, I didn't have to steal, they left the key in the ignition. <laughs> Bill, let's shut that hood. Okay. That is awesome. And it came back home. It was only gone for a couple of days. Yeah, but it was a long couple of days. Yeah, right, right, right. Let me get the nice venting in there as well. And we'll stand right next to your car, stand over on this side where the GTO emblem is. We'll get that GTO there and back that out. Hey, Bill, thanks for being on My Car Story.